Tell me different. I need a runaway girl to live with. Showtime at the Apollo. I'm, I'm about the bottle. Take two and pull out a little for my who won't live to see them all. It's Madden NFL 23. All eyes are on Jamar Chase. He came through in last week's game with a 108-yard performance. It's the Browns and the Niners on Sunday. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. Fields in right around the goal line. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Lawrence to throw. He'll find his man, LaVisca Chanel. And that's good for a gain of six. And it brings up third and five now. Now Lawrence to throw. The Sanders has got it complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 21 yards there on third down. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. On first and 10, it's Sanders. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make... This defense for the Browns, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down, and they're playing with extreme confidence. And some room to roam now. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. And Sanders has it poked free. And I think the offense got it back. They did. Inside the 10-yard line, they avoid disaster. Second and short now following the fumble. Lock it, lock it. Off the option, it's Jones. Only about a yard there as he takes it from the 9 to the 8. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Two yards and also bring up fourth. A great job there by this defense. They give up the long drive, but in the end, it looks like they'll force a field goal attempt. Now Jake Elliott for the field goal try. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Elliott is good. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive. And three points were put on the board. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. 
So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. Orchestrating the offense will be a man who, of course, won a national title back in his days at Clemson, Deshaun Watson. And I thought in last week's game, he found a way to win like a good pitcher without his best stuff. I mean, he did throw two interceptions, yeah. offset by one touchdown pass. Not the ratio, not the numbers you're really looking for as a QB. But finding a way to win, that's all that really matters. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. To throw is Watson. He's got his tight end. It's Albert Okuwebu now. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. The teams practice their plays during the week. They're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. Open man here is Conklin. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A very solid gain of 27. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And they get him down at the 1. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. On second and goal, Watson. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Jamar Chase, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Browns have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, And that makes it a 7-3 lead. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf, dude. That's bottom shelf material. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Third down, Lawrence. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They run with Sanders off the option. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 57 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping the second go around ends in six. In good position, first and 10. Throw left side, taken in by Pittman. And he might down right at the 15-yard line. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now a first down carry by Jones. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Lawrence will throw. Flush to his right. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds. Nowhere to go with it incomplete. 
I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them at the end. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Michael Pittman is the... The Niners have regained the lead. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead is now 10 to 7. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it was capped off on the touchdown catch by Michael Pittman. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Takes it at the seven. And he takes his. Just a little pass there, call it to 26. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadow. it down the field and a lot of that was through the passing game and partners a former defensive back I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air secondary getting picked apart trying for Brown and it's intercepted and the 49ers are going to take possession of the football few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight, but not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, but throw one to the big guy? But you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is, you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game. Tell all their teammates, maybe I should shift over to offense. I've got skills. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. Looking to throw Lawrence. Here's Johnson with a reception. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 of the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Two minutes remaining in the first half, 10-7, our score. Lawrence. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three, and not giving up six. Second down and goal. Lawrence. This is caught. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. Lawrence going to keep it, and he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Trevor Lawrence scoring on the two-yard keeper, and they're able to add on to their advantage. Elliott good on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. A drive that time of six plays, and it was capped off by Trevor Lawrence taking it in himself. From the 10. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35 yard line. 
Well, the Browns' good starting field position as they have it first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. Pass the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. A.J. Brown, 65 yards. And the Browns are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Tucker now to add the point after. And this is up and good to make. Team 14 game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From the six. Well, now how about this return? And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. And they have to be pleased with the way that they moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're right. playing so well right now. The field goal probably feels like a disappointment. Way to go. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. That's complete. It's Greg Dulcich. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Now Lawrence on first down. That's going to be caught. It's Chenault. Now San Francisco going to call their second time. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Lawrence. Incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Lawrence's throw here taken in by Ingram. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. Here's Lawrence. Able to complete this to Chanel. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. And now the Niners going to single for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Lawrence going to throw again. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Evan Ingram as the first half is winding down. And the Niners would extend their lead here just before halftime. Elliott Good with a PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fielded right around the eight. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And with only nine seconds remaining, well, not much time. We'll see how they play this. Watson's throw taken in here by Chase. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. The final shot before the break. Watson, the quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. 
This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. And he's going to have a Browns first down as he'll take this up to the 38-yard line. So we and we will skip the highlight show this week. Get right back to this week three matchup. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Browns going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Here's Watson. Throw left side complete to Chase. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage, as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage, because man coverage, it's that's caught inside the 20. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Hard to believe that arm strength was a knock on Deshaun Watson coming out of Clemson, but he showed what he's got there. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 11 more on that one and another first down. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On second and goal, Watson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Jamar Chase. Two take an extra long look at this one. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Tucker with the extra point, and that cuts the lead to three, 20. following the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Niners to take over on offense. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. And they'll begin by running the option. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Three yards, and now it's second. Now Lawrence. Quick completion here to Johnson. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it's third and four now. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Lawrence to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adoree Jackson. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. 
the one I looked at, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Watson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Going to need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The Browns send out their punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And they'll let this one go right on the outskirts of the 10. They'll down it at the 11-yard line. I feel like you and I could be in our backyard with our dads right now. What did they always say when they were throwing us a ball? Look it all the way in. Make sure you secure it. That had the feeling of not happening there on that play, that he didn't have full control of the ball. When that punt's coming in, I'm going to return punts, but I would imagine it's tough to monitor those guys coming full steam ahead. At. It really is. You try and get that peak to know where they are about whether you should fair catch it or not. But sometimes you just have to have a, a sense, a feeling, and just have to make sure, number one, though, you catch the ball and put it away. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. They'll go option to the short side. And he's going to take this across the 50 in the Browns territory. It's a second down run with Sanders. And some room to work. 20. Touchdown, 49ers. Miles Sanders with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Niners are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Elliott Good on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Browns drive about to get started. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now it's Watson. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. And we're back now here in Cleveland. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. It's the Browns with a deficit. They're trailing, but with the football here to start the fourth. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A shotgun snap for Watson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. To throw again on second down, Watson. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired. 
Well, he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still, some positive yardage. Touchdown, Browns! Deontay Jackson, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Browns have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run? Here, or do you try to bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. They'll complete this to Ingram is tight in. Holding That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught down. in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. On second down, there's the option going left. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. But not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. A critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. It has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And the Browns will take over first and 10. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Open man here is Conklin. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On first and 10, Watson. Open man is chase complete. And they're going to get this down near the third. of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. On first down, it's Watson. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Watson to throw. Towards the end zone for Brown. And that's going to be incomplete.
trying to take a shot, but it's third down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 21. Now Watson. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Here's Watson. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Now Tucker to end the PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drive goes eight plays. And it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So now the Niners down by four, 55 seconds remaining. Their perfect start to the season in jeopardy unless they can score here as they've got it first and ten. Back to throw. Lawrence complete to Chenault. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Lawrence into the hands of Sanders. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Throwing now, Lawrence. And once again, this is Sanders. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's Lawrence. And that one drops to the ground, incomplete. Clock stops here, just inside of 20 seconds, 19 left. They'll look to throw. Oh, he forces one there, it's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adoree Jackson. And the Bra Shown up this football game. The Browns in victory formation now as they take the knee. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. And they take a knee. an excellent come from behind victory Charles especially there in the fourth quarter both offense and defense were clicking they're going to feel good about this one boy are they ever because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small they obviously did not give up on that one and in the end how about that come from behind victory they'll cherish this one for a while so for Cleveland it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0